Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading Satellite Office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Friday, February the 8th, 2013, and here is today's midday market update brought to you by WallStreetTrading.com. Want to first off by taking a look to see how the indices are setting up today so far. The Dow Jones is up 44 and a quarter, uh, 45 points. The Nasdaq, the CompQ, is up 26. Point eighty five. Take a look at the Russell. We're up over uh, five and a half points in the Russell two thousand. The S and P's up six and a quarter. Taking a look at the commodity space, USO's down fourteen cents. GLD's down fifty cents. GDX is down twenty six cents. Copper showing some nice strength today. JJC up thirty one cents. SLV pretty much flat, down two cents. The banking index, the BKX, is flat, and the oil index is up three dollars and fifty four cents. We're seeing a nice push up today. However, we kind of stalled out from the extended move. So one thing that I'll be watching out for is hopefully making sure this is not a fake trap break above that 1510 level. If uh, the way that we got our traders set up here in the room, we talked, we discussed the fact that the ES was setting up for a bullish break on the open. Take a look at the 50-minute uh, chart of the ES, which you see have on the left-hand side here. We had this nice little ABC move up. It'll move up from uh, 1495 or so all the way up to a high of 1508. Actually, 1495. Uh, I'm gonna call it to 50. Yeah, 1508. Then we pulled back, all, right, all the way back down to say 1504. So you should have your ABC move here. That 15, that 1504 pullback. All right. So this 14, this 1495 to 1508. That's 13 points. We pulled back. So we should have ran another 13 points from this 1504 level. So 1504 plus 13 would have gave us a target of uh, 15. What 1517? So we stalled out two points ahead of that target level, which makes sense. People obviously selling in front of that target, but right now we're going to be looking to see. So this is your ABC move. Right now we're going to be looking to see if we come back and pull back to test this 1510 level. If we uh, don't hold that 1510 level, this could definitely probably be a trap. The volume will indicate if that's a trap, and then we could possibly be saying, okay, this could be setting up for a, a neckline at 1504, a left shoulder. A head for the trap for the right shoulder, and then the uh, I'm sorry, a, a trap above 15.10 for the head, and then a pullback towards 15.04, then maybe a rally up for head and shoulders pattern. Uh, I'm looking at it a little bit too much right there. We need some more analysis to kind of support that. But right now the market's still holding up pretty decent. We didn't reach our little target for our ABC move, all right. And now we just have to make sure that this 15.10 on the back test holds today. The back test of 15.10 holds today, and we see buyers come back in, some nice volume come back in, showing that the buyers are supporting the levels that will look pretty good. And we'll be looking for a move back up towards the highs. If you take a look at the five-minute chart right here, you can see I have a nice little downward channel, slight little downward channel. That's at an angle here. This is basically showing that we're pulling back off these highs a little bit, but not at a steep angle. Um, just a little bit of selling pressure going on, maybe some profit taken, whatever the case may be. Um, some stocks that we were watching today that we had on the radar. First of all, we talked about the market breaking out because, we again, we had this nice little bull flag pattern right here off those lows from yesterday. So that trade that trade worked out pretty well that we got our traders in in our chat room. If you have not been to our chat room yet, you can uh, send me an email at ccooper at wallstreettrading.com and I will give you the details on how you can get access to our chat room. Um, pretty much the market was a nice play today. If you would have traded these three times ETFs, it would have been much easier to catch a market move. Some of these stocks, you know, it made some nice moves up as well though. But TNA and the S SSO and all those uh, three, three times and double ETFs did pretty well as the market momentum was set for a break out on the open from a Momo trade. Now, um, LinkedIn, nice move today here. All right, you can see this one's just continuing to move higher. Consolidated, give you guys another entry if you were going to get longer with this 147.50 level. And now it needs to pull back a bit here. But this was a, on our radar to the long side. If um, you take a look at this uh, nuance, NUAN, we had this on the short alert radar. And again, folks, we call this stuff out on our Wall Street trading page. We post the ideas that we're watching. If you have not been to our uh, Facebook page for Wall Street Trading, go check it out. We post a lot of news information there for our followers, and it's a lot of good stuff there, so go check it out. Uh, but anyway, NUN, we're watching this one. holding. If it continues to hold below 20, look for this thing to sell off back towards the lows. Right now, it's just trading sideways. Um, Riverbed RVBD, this thing got hit this morning. Uh, looking to see if this thing's going to put in a lower high to get short. If not, they're going to try to bounce it. As you can see here, it's pretty much chopping a lot of people up. This is a 30-minute chart, by the way. It's pretty much chopping people up around the 1625 level, getting them short, breaking them long. So, you know, 1625 is a level to watch in, in this riverbed holding above 1625 in the afternoon session. Could probably make a move back up towards the highs. 
Hold him below 1625 could probably make him move back down towards the lows, but notice how they're pretty much using this as an above and below level. 1625 riverbed. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the triple Qs and these three and these ETFs here, since I know some of you guys watch the ETFs. All right, and um, right now SPY is trading sideways, pretty much in the range between uh, 1560 and 1580. Little range here. Moving averages are rising up a bit there. Qs are back above that key 6738 level that I've been highlighting on the daily after the bell market summaries, and the IWM is making a little higher uh, pivot low right here possibly looking for a move higher here so we'll see all in all good action market finally broke above 1510 today on the ES uh, we gotta see if we can hold above it though if we close above it that'll give us some more clues keep an eye on the ES 5 minute chart forming a, a nice little downward uh, bullish channel here that could be set up for a move back over 1514 and 1515 that's about it folks catch me uh, for the weekend review which will be out by Saturday evening hope you guys are having a great day so far and speak to you then cheers <laughs>